Welcome back to Educator.com. We're going to look at a few more examples on trying to do hypothesis tests with means. So let's say I take a random sample of 120 observations and it produced a sample mean of 32 at a significance level of 0.05 and a population standard deviation equal to 6 test mu equals 28 versus mu being greater than 28. I want an upper tail test because my alternative is greater than. So my significance level is all going to be in that upper tail. So let's try and figure out all the information that they're giving us here. n equals 120. My sample mean is 32. And my population standard deviation, sigma, is 6. Because I have a large enough sample and the uh, standard deviation is known, I'm going to use z for this situation. So we have x bar minus mu divided by sigma over the square root of n. So I'm taking 32 minus 28 divided by 6 over the square root of 120. This actually gives me 7.30. So when I'm trying to find my p-value, it's assuming the null hypothesis is true, what's the probability I get what I observe, or something more extreme in the direction of the alternative hypothesis. So I'm taking the probability that z is greater than or equal to 7.30. This is off the chart, so it's approximately 0. Is my p-value less than or equal to alpha? The answer is yes. So what would I conclude? I would, my decision is to reject the null hypothesis.